Today, we're gonna to show you guys the ultimate DIY backyard chicken coop system. We're gonna talk about how we built this coop, why we built it the way we did, and how it fits into our overall system to keep our chickens safe and happy. After we lost our whole flock over the winter, we decided to ramp up our security and we got this Premier One electric fencing. We went with the solar option being off-grid. They also have a plug-in option, but for us, the solar seemed to work better. Plus, if the electricity went down, we wouldn't have a problem with our fencing going down as well. Oh, before I forget, check out the fence here. The bottom squares are smaller, and that is because this is poultry netting. That way our little chicks can't get through. We chose to go with two 100 foot fences and then we combined them together. We opened the box and just unwound the fence going around all the trees that we wanted to. And then they have at the bottom of the post a little spike that we just stepped on, which was also very, very simple to install. We want you to know that it really does work. We tested it out on ourselves. Actually, we tested it out on our daughter. No, no. Sorry, Take your shoe off and it's do it. I feel worse if you use fingers. Why? Go hand on. We're going to cry. <laughs> no, we're I've not. I've it with all the uh, I know, you screamed. You, yes, you no, did. I do not. I don't want to do this. All right, so you got one shoe off. Now oh. use the hand with the same side of your body that the shoe's off on. Go, go. Is this a bad idea? <laughs> no. No, you'll be fine. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, <laughs> Animals are not gonna like this fence. <laughs> Is that a lot worse? Yeah. Okay, yeah, now, now, body. now, just stand. Uh -huh. Now, just put your foot on your shoe and do it again, and see okay, see the difference. On my shoe. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Put your shoe on. Touch it. <laughs> Here in my screen. Wait. What yeah. do you mean? Yeah. Now try it. See, okay. it won't be as bad. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Like without <laughs> my shoe or with my barefoot on the ground it was like it rushed up my whole body uh -huh. and then with this it's just like a little sting on the finger it, like numbs the half of your body yeah it was crazy you should try it, I already done it. <laughs> so yeah that's why animals right it'll really shock them because yeah. they have bare feet yes they will not like that at all if you guys watch our channel a lot you'll probably see watts and ray in our videos and they are one of the main predators that we're trying to keep away from our chicks. Our chicks are still really small right now, and these guys are really good hunters. So keeping our cats away from them is one of our number one priorities. We also are trying to keep out bears. Lately, there's been bears in our neighborhood. Our neighbor actually caught one on camera, and raccoons is another thing that we are trying to keep out. So we're trying to keep things out, but obviously we need to get in at times to take care of them. So this is how we get in. Just undo this guy. I like to clamp it down here. And then there's two little clips right here and we unclip them and then just spread them apart and go in. So after you make it past the first line of defense, we get into the chicken run area, which is actually our second line of defense. This is our defense against aerial predators. We wanna keep our chickens safe from hawks and eagles, which there was just a bald eagle circling around right up here. So we put their chicken coop and the run underneath all of these trees so that hopefully the birds will not be able to see them as well from the sky and just swoop down and pick one up and take it away to have a good afternoon snack. First of all, let's check out the outside of the coop. And I think that if you pay close attention to this video, that you will be able to reproduce this coop yourself. But we do have some plans that we've made for you guys. They're down in the description below. There's a link down there, you can check them out. But this is made from um, the LP Smart Siding. That's the siding. It's all made from standard off the shelf material that you can get at Home Depot or any hardware store. But it's four by eight in size. We got four by four post, two by four framing. The roof is eight feet long because the panels come in eight foot sections. There's no need to cut them or anything. As we cruise down this way, we've got hardware cloth up here for venting. And right here is their uh, nesting boxes. Come with me. So as we come around this side here then, We've got our door right here. We'll open it up and we'll check out the inside in just a little bit. Up here, you can see the roof. We're just using metal roofing. This is a 612 pitch 
and it only goes one direction because we want all of the snow, which piles up like a lot of it, we want it to all run off of this side so that we can get to the nesting boxes in the wintertime without having to climb up over a bunch of snow or shovel the snow away to get there. So as we come up here to the front, we've got their little gangplank here with some cleats nailed onto it. Just some scrap wood that we had, we made it out of, and we get to the all important automatic chicken door. We've been using this automated chicken door for, I don't know, probably three years with our first flock and now with our second flock. And I like the convenience of it and the security of it. There's three ways that you can use it. You can operate it manually to open your clothes. You can set it by a timer, which is what I always do. Or you can use this little sensor and open and close it based on the amount of sunlight that's coming in. I'm going to manually close the door right now so that you can see how it locks at night. So the door is locked. The chickens can't get out and nothing else can get in. I mean, I guess like a bear or a really big predator could like rip it apart, but nothing small for sure is getting in here. And in the morning, I have it set up to automatically open to let the chickens out. Let's cruise over to the other side and we'll take a look inside and see how it's all working in there and how we feed the chickens, water the chickens and all that other kinds of cool stuff. We do have three separate latches on here because I know raccoons are really smart. And so hopefully three latches will deter a raccoon from figuring out how to get in here. I don't know if it will or not, but I hope it does. I like to think it will. Let's check it out. All right, so taking a quick look inside here, you can see we just have two by four rafters framed up. You can see how we've got our hardware cloth put in there for the vents and then their roofs going across here. They're bedding down in here. This is just three quarter inch plywood for the base. We painted it with a floor paint or a deck paint. And right here in the corners, you can kind of see how this is just a four by eight sheet. So the, the, the chicken coop is four by eight on the outside. And so we just notched it around these posts here when we built it. We got their feeder hung up right here off of one of the rafters and then their giant thing of water right here just so we don't have to come out and give them fresh water all of the time. You're probably wondering why we built this thing up so high. Jules, why is it so high? Well, it makes it really easy to actually clean. So instead of having to bend down or like scoop things, I just can reach in and drag out the bedding and then replace it with new bedding with a lot of ease. I usually put like a wheelbarrow right here stick the rake in and just scoop it right into the wheelbarrow. You might have also noticed that our brooding boxes are sealed off right now. And the reason it is is because I don't want them getting used to pooping inside of there. They're too little to be laying eggs right now. And so we'll open that up when they get to be the right age. But for now, they're closed off and they can't use it. Let's check out the um, egg boxes. What'd you call them, brooding boxes? Yeah, the, I call them brooding box boxes. Right in here like this. Under normal circumstances, this wouldn't be here. They would just come into their boxes here and be able to lay their eggs. And because it's on the outside of the coop, it's super easy to get their eggs. And what's really cool about it is you don't have to go inside and walk in all of their poop to get the eggs. You just get them right here from the outside. And because we have the slope going this way and a big extension out here, water doesn't drip on here and get inside of there and all of the snow goes onto that side so you can just walk right up and get your eggs yeah. even when there's like three feet of snow yeah definitely and another feature that i really like is that there's storage underneath and so i have blue totes filled with their treats and filled with their bedding and filled with their feed that I can just leave underneath and they're all weatherproof that way. It also provides a space for them to get out of the rain if they don't wanna be inside the coop or, or just in the shade during the day. And so you might notice that there is no insulation in here. That's a question that we pretty frequently get about our chicken coop, insulation and heat in the winter time. And we do not heat it and we don't insulate it and they have done fine over the last two winters but we do have chickens that are bred for cold weather. So if you're in a really cold climate, you might want to think about looking into cold weather breeds of your chickens, huh, Jules? Yeah, that's true. The main thing for chickens is to keep, give them or provide them an area that keeps them dry 
and draft free, which this coupe does a great job of that. We have the feed inside, but we also have this little like pipe feeder. The feed goes in right here. And then the chicks just stick their little head up here and it's supposed to be good for keeping out rodents and um, not spilling as much either. So you don't end up with a lot of waste. And for those of you that might like to build one of these guys, this is the structure underneath, just two by four joists going across there. And I think we forgot to mention that uh, we will put a link to the automatic chicken door down in the description below where you can go ahead and check that out and see if that's something that you might like to add to your chicken coop for convenience. Cause I'll tell you what, when you don't feel like coming out here in the middle of the night to shut them up because you've been relaxing, <laughs> you don't have to. Exactly. They're already <laughs> locked up, locked up tight. Yep. And if you don't feel like coming out early in the morning and checking on them, you don't have to because it will automatically open up and all the chickens will run out and have fun playing in their yard. That's a good segue into our security cameras. <laughs> oh yes, that's true. That's uh, right over here. Oh, yeah, let me show you. Right there. You see that guy? That's one of our security cameras. And it keeps an eye on the chickens over here. It'll send a notification to us if there's an animal that's trying to get in. And also, if something does get in, or we see something weird with the fence or something, we can check the security camera and see what it was that was trying to get in yeah. and when it was. We haven't had anything yet except for a deer on there. Yep. But we also positioned the coop so that from the house, we can see that the door is opening and closing um, if for some reason we can't get out here right away. But it's nice to have the security camera as well. All right, so that is our ultimate backyard DIY chicken coop system for you guys. And remember, we will put links down in the description below to the plans on how to build this if you're interested in doing that, to the fencing, to the feeders, to the automatic door opener, and whatever other resources we have to help you guys out with your chicken coop and keeping your chickens happy, healthy, and safe. If you wanna see what else is going on here on our off-grid homestead, we've got this video right up here for you to go ahead and check out. Or if you'd like to go all the way back to the beginning to when we moved to our property and we're living in tents, we've got this video right here for you. We hope you guys have a really great day. Keep smiling.